Hello everyone, my name is Anton and welcome to another repair video on the channel and today we are focusing on the software side of the repair by showing you how to restore your Apple Watch and today we have an Apple Watch Series 3 42 millimeters, and we are going to try to restore it by using the IBAS dongle and the MFC software and I'm going also to show you what are the models that are compatible with the dongle and the software. So as you can see, this is how the, the dongle is connected to Apple Watch. And also we have an Apple Watch Series 3 and Nike 42 millimeters that I'm going to talk about also in this video. So what you need is first thing is the MFC dongle. And also you need the uh, IBAS dongle in order to restore. And uh, this is the first version of the IBAS Series 1, which is compatible with the uh, 7000 series and uh, Series 7000 and Series 1. And this is the uh, metal that is an adapter to connect the uh, dongle uh, perfectly to set perfectly on the watch and you need a little help you can just focus the camera a little bit just a little bit okay here we go okay just to make sure that everything is connected without any problems. And of course, I'm going to put all uh, the links for uh, the MFC dongle and the iBuses, the Series 1 and Series 2 down in the description. So if you want to buy them. And here we go, this is the uh, output of the lighting cable. You can use any uh, lighting cable, but uh, it's recommended to use the original one. And I'm going to show you now. Uh, you have to go to the recovery mode by pressing the home button immediately. And in order to restore the Apple Watch. And as you can see, this is the Apple logo. And here we go. We are on the recovery screen. And now we are going to go to the computer and show you how you can restore uh, uh, the Apple Watch using the MFC software. So, let's go. Okay, now before we're getting started, there's a lot of people have been waiting for the update of the MFC uh, programmer. For those who don't know what is the MFC programmer, uh, it is the program that we are going to use in order to restore our Apple Watch. And as you can see, this is the uh, link uh, from the form GSM hosting. And uh, this is the MFC team official uh, link. It says that there is a new update is coming up. So I'm going to put all the links down in the description so you can download them without any problem and without needing to account. But it's recommended to do an account on the MFC box site. Uh, let me just uh, do something over here. And uh, I'm going to show you what you have to do. But first, uh, you need to install the version 2.5.1, the official install installer. I'm also going to put it uh, in the link in the description down below. And I'm going to show you how to uh, update to the latest version, which is the 3.3, uh, as you can see here, beta. So I'm going just to speed forward a little bit, just to uh, make everything ready. Uh, to see uh, to show you how to uh, update to uh, the version 3.3 Okay, now we downloaded the file and we are going to move it. As you can see, this is the inside of the file. It is the a zip file. We are going to move it to the MFC install file, which is in, in my case in local disk C. And extract here, yes to all, move all and replace all. And let's open the MFC 3.3 version. And here we come on come on come on and as you can see the mfc tool 2020 version 3.3 is working now let me just put my password my account 
here we go and now we are going to go to uh, the IMFC tab now uh, there is where, uh, where it comes to the MFC uh, dongle itself without it you cannot uh, open the IMFC tab on the uh, MFC software so here we go let's just go into it and one tab and as you can see we have a lot of um, devices in the history now when you uh, connect your Apple watch it is immediately uh, show you in which uh, mode and the also the IME or the serial number of the Apple watch and now let me just connect our Apple watch and it's immediately will show you that there is a Apple watch series 3 or 2 or 1 it doesn't matter and here we go here we go connected and as you can see it is in the recovery mode and let's go to the flash tab and now you can go to choose uh, which Apple Watch you want to restore. Just double click on it. And uh, go and press the shift and the restore. And now go uh, to the place where you put it, all the IPSWs. And again, I'm going to upload all the IPSWs uh, and put it in the link in the description down below. Let me choose the series 3 42 millimeters, but if it is uh, it says that it is the LTE, but it's not, it is a GPS. And update it. Okay, I speed forward a little bit the process, and now I'm going to uh, put the Apple Watch on the screen. Here we go, and to see all the progress. Uh, now I'm going to speed forward all the process because it will take a long time and it will be a very long video so I'm going to speed forward uh, all the video and then after the restore is done we are going to activate the watch and see if everything is okay or not so let's go Okay, now that the watch is successfully restored, we are going to wait for the watch to complete the boot of the system and after that we are going to activate the watch. Uh, now uh, in the beginning of the video I've talked about that we also got an Apple Watch Series 3 Nike version and we are going to try to restore it but turns out that the Nike and Hermes version have a different software. So if you want to try to restore with a GPS or LTE software that is not Nike or Hermes, this is what will you get on the MFC software. Now this video was focusing on the Series 3 Apple Watch, of course, it's almost the same process for the Series 1 and Series 2. But for now I don't have a working watch to try it on, so I want to know your results. Uh, for those who want to try to software a Series 1 or Series 2, please leave it in the comments down below. And of course, as I mentioned, I will uh, put all the software links in the description so you can download them for free, but of course I still recommend you to make an official account on MFC box site, I mean after all, all the credits goes to the MFC team, without them we couldn't restore the Apple Watch. And last but not least, this is not an iCloud bypass, you can use this if you have a demo version or you took your watch to a repair service to change the screen and they didn't change the NFC, in that case you can you need to restore the device in order to pair it 
uh, to your phone. Now let's go to activate the Apple Watch to see if we can be paired with an iPhone. And let's go. Okay, now that the watch is paired and everything looks okay, I want to mention again, shout out to MFC team, they did a great job and I also will be trying to upload uh, videos for the Series 1 and Series 2 restore process uh, in the future. Now if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, if the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. Stay safe and have a good day.